Hello everybody, my name is Monsieur Caron or Marc-André Caron. I'm a robot maker and welcome to the Virtual Open International 2021. No, actually, it's the Virtual Open Invitational. Sorry about that. And today I want to share with you a robot that I've built and think about a lot and program and I had a lot of fun with that robot. It's a little robotic arm just like that. I wanted to do a robot that I have a link to my country. Something we did in Canada, we did the Canada arm, the robotic arm that the NASA used in space, but I had a problem because the Canada arm is very long to reach out in space and those wires are kind of short, so I cannot do something very long and very heavy. So that's fine, that's okay. So this little guy here was made almost completely out of part that are in the uh, Mindstorm Robot Inventor set. And here in the kit, we only have one of those gears and I wanted to have them on both sides. So here, the little robot. At the end, I have the gripper. That gripper come from the Lego Spike Prime actually, okay? I work a lot with Lego Spike Prime for education. And in the instruction, you can download them, it's free, let's go. They have a little a gripper like that, that you can build. The arm got two uh, degrees of uh, movement, okay? Can go up, can go down, and at the base, the robot can rotate right and left. The only limits you have are the wires. So just by, by looking at that, I'm sure you can build it at home. Okay. Enough talking, I'm going to show you how this little guy work. First, we're going to... work no problem there okay what can i do more than just that i made a little slide here okay and we are able to put those lego cubes i made get the wires out of the way of the gears because they can get stuck in there no problem I want the robot to check which color it is and sort them warm on the side and cold colors on the other side. Let's check if that works. And I was very happy with that uh, version of the robot that can see the color and sort it. But there's one more sensor. Of course, there's the distance sensor. I didn't use it for this presentation. But another sensor I wanted to use was the gyro sensor. So you know that in the hub, you got a six axis gyro. If I go back to my idea to do the Canada arm in space, uh, the Canada arm is not kind of a robot that operate by itself. I'm sure there's a lot of automatic stuff, automation stuff that can happen, but they need a human to tell the robot what to do. They look by the window and they check, okay, we go there, we go there. A lot of camera to see the robot moving. This is how I did it. I wanted my brick to be able to flip from side to side and front to back. So I wanted to put the joystick away not to be too close from the robot when I, I, I use it. So with that mechanism here, using the small turntable, adding a gear here just to have some friction so it stay, it stay right when it's there. So with a lot of friction, it can move pretty freely and stay in one position when you move it. So I got kind of 30 degrees of uh, movement in every angle. So the program is that 
when every angle is uh, like between plus 10 and minus 10, uh, no mothers move. In this way, if you go past 10 degrees or backward uh, past minus 10 degrees, then I will start moving one of the mothers. Go right, go left. On the spike prime, you have a pressure sensor that you can add here and use as a button. But in the Mindstorm, you don't have that pressure sensor. So, oh my God, what will I do? I need some control. Hey, we have a fourth motor here. And the motor can move, but it's also a sensor. Because you know, the sensors know where they are. They know the degrees. So, if my motor here is at like zero degree between like minus 10 and plus 10, uh, do something. And if I push it past 10 degrees, do something else. So here I have a little, a big switch that will open and close my claws. So now I need to go back to the first setup and try to move my bricks around. It make a nice game. Okay, let's go one step further. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a second Mindstorm Robot Inventor set. So now I, at home I have two boxes. I've built two robots. And what I wanted to try is just to put them together face to face and take a brick and put it on the other side and then take the brick and put it and so on and so on. Can they work together just by switching bricks? Here's what I did. So this is all the activities I did with my little Canada arm, robotic arm, inspired by the, the Canada arm in space. But in fact, it's just a, a little small gripper like that with two degrees of uh, liberties. Uh, can I add a four degrees by taking this motor and adding it somewhere, maybe I can, and maybe can you do it? So just look at all the picture here, check out this video, try to reproduce it, make your own, do games and share them on, on Facebook, on internet, anywhere to spread the joys, the joy of robotics. I hope you have a great competition. I hope you have great fun doing robotics with all your friends, please share everything you learn with other people because they are going to share it with you and everybody we grow together. So again, my name is Marc-André Caron. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have fun. Bye-bye.